gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cami. Today's video is going to be a pregnancy update. Um, so the last pregnancy update I had was at 32 weeks I think because um, then I had another appointment I know at 34 weeks and I basically waited so long to do an update because there was so many like unsure things that were happening. And I really didn't want to give an update and be completely wrong or them, you know, just have given wrong information um, and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm glad I waited. So now that I have a better understanding of everything that's going on. So I am 37 weeks currently and basically at my 34 week appointment. At my 34 week appointment, they wanted to do an ultrasound because I have gestational diabetes and they wanted to make sure baby was not too big because I guess that is a thing that can happen. You guys can see Parker back there. Um, with that, that's like a side effect, baby being too big because it like holds all your sugar, I guess. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, so I went in and they said like she was like four pounds eight ounces at 34 weeks and then they couldn't get a good ultrasound of her abdomen or at least that's what was happening like the lady couldn't get it exactly right like she wasn't sitting exactly right or whatever um so then after that I had a I had to go do an NST which was unscheduled that time um something felt wrong and then whenever I got to see my OB, she basically said that they thought her abdomen was too small um, and that her weight was, you know, smaller than what they would like it to be, what it should be, the normal um, thing. So she's, she honestly freaked me out um, with all the information she tried to give me because they wanted to prepare me in case the next appointment, you know, something was wrong. Um, so I was honestly just freaking out and super, super concerned and super worried because obviously you want your baby to be healthy and them sitting there telling me that her abdomen was too small and it was something called IUGR. Um, immediately, like, I started crying and we had to call my husband and she had to explain it to him and all that. And then on the next appointment, so I've had an appointment every week since then. And I've had to have an ultrasound and an NST each time. Um, but I didn't know that I wasn't going to be getting another growth scan. I was assuming that the next week I would get a growth scan and they would tell me if her abdomen was good or not, if they messed up, what was going on, and all of that. But apparently they can only do growth scans every three weeks. So I went in thinking, you know, I'm going to, today's going to be the day that they, you know, let me know what's up. Um, but they didn't. I was 35 weeks and they did the ultrasound and it was basically, as she said, BPPs. Um, and they just made sure that the placenta and the fluid and all of that kind of stuff was good because if it wasn't good, I was going to have to be induced. But everything looked good then. And then um, the following week, same appointment, ultrasound, NST. She never wants to cooperate for the NSTs. She always like just falls asleep and then I was like we gotta wake her up and they shake your belly and all that um so yeah sorry I have, I have burps but yeah so 36 weeks same thing um you know same information everything looks okay and then this week which is today at my 37 week appointment got to have another ultrasound and it was a growth ultrasound this time so we could compare from 34 weeks to 37 weeks so at first she was like the lady who was doing my ultrasound was like has she been measuring really small and I'm like yeah I mean the last time they she was four pounds eight ounces and so this time at first she said five pounds five ounces um, and then she I guess remeasured and did some other stuff and then she went with five pounds 11 ounces um, so we're gonna say five pounds 11 ounces because I mean she put it into the thing and that's what I gave her um, so yeah she, she's grown some but apparently that's still not like great for 37 weeks um, 
and with having gestational diabetes that's also a concern for all of that kind of stuff so basically when I went to see the actual doctor after the NST um, she told me that baby's weight is in the 10th percentile and that my fluid is getting lower or like decreasing or whatever which I guess can happen with IUGR um, the growth restriction stuff the fluid plays a part of that and your baby's weight and all of that kind of stuff so because that is getting like less and because baby is uh, in the 10th percentile for weight and because I have gestational diabetes she would like to induce me this following week I'm waiting for a phone call currently I don't know if I'm gonna get that phone call today or if I'm gonna have to call tomorrow um, but I should be getting induced between the 9th and the 16th of this month um, so you guys might be seeing this when I'm getting induced or when I've already had her I'm not really sure how all that's gonna work um, but yeah basically she then wanted to just go ahead and check my cervix and I was only one centimeter dilated and she did say that obviously having a smaller baby will be easier to have um, but I guess there's something with smaller babies and contractions that make it harder because if you're not having strong enough contractions I didn't really understand it exactly um, but the plan is to at some point get induced during that date for 38 weeks um, those or the following dates, the 9th through the 16th and 38 weeks. Um, I will go in like the night before and I was induced with my son um, with Cervidil or something like that but she did not use that word. I don't, I can't remember what she used for this one um, but it will be something else I guess and it is a different hospital and a different OB than who I had with my son. Um, but you know, I'm glad they said that her, you know, abdomen looked okay. She just, they just think that she might just be a smaller baby, um, which is perfectly fine. It's, yeah, I mean, she was like saying that I might just go on if I have future babies to have smaller babies. But I mean, Parker was like seven pounds, eight ounces. So he was a good healthy weight and I was induced at like 39 weeks. Um, so I mean, yeah. Now I have a better understanding. Um, I'm not really sure if she actually has IUGR or not because it referred to her abdomen at 34 weeks for having that and then but she did use that today as well um, in our conversation so I'm not really sure exactly about all of that stuff but as long as she comes out healthy and I'm sure she'll be beautiful that's all that really matters so I do have a bunch of ultrasounds to show you they're not good uh, they um, yeah, I just have a bunch of pictures because I had all of those ultrasounds done. Let me see. So this is like the best one. Um, a profile. This one was at 34 weeks. And her sucking her toes. Oh so yeah, that's kind of it for the update. I will show you guys my bump in a little bit. I'm obviously still pricking my finger and writing down my numbers for the gestational diabetes. I'm still taking my baby aspirin and prenatals and all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, we should be having baby very soon and you guys might even be seeing this when I already have baby or we'll be having baby in like a day or something. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I just wanted to come out healthy. It's just been a very stressful period of time with everything that's been like piling on information that because they have to give worst case scenario for things in case something is wrong and that was just something that was really really freaking me out I just didn't want to try to explain like I hadn't written anything on Facebook I didn't really tell anybody in my family what was going on besides obviously my husband um, so yeah, I will go ahead and show you guys my bump now. I don't really have any symptoms. Um, I'm just honestly, I'm tired. I, I'm still have, having like dandruff um, because of my hormones are changing. Um, I leached colostrum once but haven't since. I feel a lot of like lower pressure and I'm just uncomfortable trying to fall asleep and all of that, you know, normal pregnancy things. 
So yeah, I hope that you guys will subscribe and join my little YouTube family if you guys are not already because we're going to have, you know, a baby here soon and a birth vlog and fingers crossed a birth vlog as everything goes well and, you know, and baby updates and all sorts of things. So I hope you guys subscribe and definitely give this video a like and I will show you guys my bump. Let's go. I came in I know you wanna get to know me uh -huh. But honestly I came with my girls Wanna dance by ourselves Can't you tell? Baby, baby, I have thick skin. I was planning yeah. to have a hospital bag video up before I come to the hospital So I'm just going to add it on to my updates um, And show you guys what I am bringing to the hospital So I just have this bag So yeah, I just have this bag that I got off of Amazon You guys can see it um, and the only thing that I will have to pack in here is my husband needs to put a pair of clothes in here and then like my wallet, um, and then the camera battery charger in the camera. So yeah. So let's start it off. Um, I am bringing a lot of diapers, um, for myself because I know after having Parker, I had to have my husband go get these. Um, so I have some prepared and then I also have obviously some at the house and then I'm bringing like a travel size thing of makeup wipes. I know with Parker I didn't do my makeup while I was there. Um, so yeah, makeup wipes and then I have like a travel toothbrush thing. I have a brush and some chapstick because my lips are always chapped. And then I of course have like just a little bit of makeup um, in case I want to do like pictures or something. I don't want to look rough and then i have just a thing of nursing pads in case i do get my milk while i'm there i know with parker i didn't get it for i think like four days um i think i got it the day we came home from the hospital and i think we were there for like three or four days and then i have a brand new mask i'm just gonna bring this pink mask um to have because it's cute <laughs> and i know you gotta wear a mask and then I am bringing just one swaddle because I'm pretty sure we only brought Parker one swaddle and then we used the hospital swaddle most of the time that they gave us. So I'm bringing a swaddle and then of course I have two like chargers and then an iPhone charging thing in case we forgot our chargers. I am bringing some hemorrhoid pads because that is was the only thing that I used with having Parker was hemorrhoid pads. I didn't use like the squirt bottles or anything like that. Um, and then just some like travel size body stuff like deodorant and um, mouthwash and hair stuff for the shower. More diapers for myself. <laughs> and then I'm bringing her a passy of course. And then I have like a nursing bra and a change of clothes for myself. And then for baby girl, I'm bringing just like this um, onesie. And then I'm also bringing like pajamas um some pjs for her and then i also have her going home outfit um which says baby sister and then she has some pants and like a little bow so that is pretty much everything that is in my hospital bag i also have some mittens for her and some socks um just in case but yeah i'm not doing anything super crazy i know with parker i feel like I felt like I needed all of these things and then I didn't really use anything because the hospital provides you with pretty much anything that you might need besides like clothes for her and myself. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys are ready to see baby girl Ari. I am very, very excited that she's going to be here so very soon. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.